Uh, police in London have arrested a 19-year-old man who may have been behind recent attacks on Sony, the CIA, and many others. Police say this is, quote, a significant arrest. Now, they were working with Scotland Yard and the FBI to carry out this arrest. People are, police are looking into whether the man is associated with one of the groups that took credit for recent hack attacks. They're called LulzSec, Anonymous, also one of those groups. Uh, let's bring in Bloomberg contributing editor Richard Falkenrath, who's the top Homeland Security advisor during the Bush administration. Currently, he's principal at the Chertoff Group. Uh, Richard, I'm, I'm anxious to get your insight because it seems we don't know a whole lot about just who LulzSec is and who this 19-year-old might be. Yeah, that's right. What the do we know? The police haven't released his name yet. There will be more information coming out as he is indicted and moves through their prosecution uh, system. This is typical of international hacking networks. They're, they're very cagey. Uh, there are very few details about who they are. They typically are not uh, in Western countries anymore because this is those are the countries where they're likely to get arrested if they go too far. Uh, and, and this young man, if he was responsible for it, clearly uh, made a mistake at some point and allowed Scotland Yard and the FBI to, to trace back to him and arrest him. Uh, and right after this arrest took place, we saw on Twitter sort of the new version of a press release, you could say, from that group, LulzSec. Let me read to you what they said. Uh, they seem to be distancing themselves from this person. It says, quote, seems a glorious leader of LulzSec got arrested. It's all over now. Wait, we're all still here. Which poor bastard did they take down? Uh, it seems like LulzSec is saying you got the wrong guy. Yeah, that, that's their story so far. This is a hacking group with a bit of a sense of humor. They seem to do this sort of thing almost for the thrill of it. Uh, and my guess is he probably wasn't acting alone. He was part of a network. And you will continue to get uh, cyber attacks from them and other affiliated groups over the coming weeks. I mean, it, it seems like what we're describing is mischief, but this comes with a tremendous financial cost. For Sony, it has meant that. Uh, it's fairly scary to hear the CIA got hacked. Uh, from a security standpoint, it, it seems like this is a, a step beyond someone just taking something down for the thrill of it, no? Well, he's done both. If, in fact, he is the one who's been doing this, this group, Lulsec, uh, their, their, their avowed motivation is to sort of mock and make fun of modern cybersecurity practices. So if they did the Sony attack and they claim credit for it, yes, that was very damaging for Sony. Many of their other attacks, though, have been just defacements of public websites. That's what they did to the CIA for, for two hours. They thought it was funny to change the logo goes on the on the website they didn't actually as far as we know get into classified data uh, very quickly he was arrested under the computer misuse and fraud act in the UK uh, what kind of legal ramifications are there for him here in the US well he'll he'd have to be extradited to the United States and the United Kingdom typically doesn't do that our criminal uh, statutes are much stiffer than the British uh, versions this statute that he's being charged under is from 1990 and it is it criminalizes unauthorized access to computer networks and it carries charges from six months to two years here in the United States that would be decades all right. Thank you very much, Richard Falkrath, for giving us your insight.